So there's a geological fault that runs along the bottom of those mountains up there. And I think it might actually be the most active fault within the interior of the United States. So today I want to try going up there with a contact mic and a field recorder to see what we can learn. And I'm not 100% sure whether a fault like this moves a little bit and makes noise a little bit all of the time or whether it really just doesn't do anything at all until there's a major earthquake. And if that's the case, of course, we're probably not going to hear anything. But there are also a lot of rocks and probably other interesting things up there. So I'm pretty confident that we can find something cool to record. So yeah, let's go. So on these rocks over here, you can see what I'm assuming are fairly obvious signs of the geological activity that's happening up here. You can see how this rock face kind of comes across and then suddenly bends and starts going down. And of course these mountains are formed because the plate that they're on, which I think is the very western edge of the Colorado Plateau, is being forced up by this plate which I'm standing on, which is basically part of the Great Basin, which just extends forever and ever out that way. Oh, hey. So according to the map, the actual fault proper is just at the bottom of this hill here, kind of running behind this fence. So yeah, let's go over there and check that out. So this little hill here doesn't look very natural because of all whatever this is behind it. But I believe that this hill is actually the fault escarpment. And so I think the fault itself is literally just here down at the bottom of this hill. And it's kind of funny because you don't really see a crack down there or anything. But according to the map, the fault is exactly right there. And my understanding is that a hill of this size could have actually been created in just one earthquake event. And I also don't really see any rocks or anything that I could attach a microphone to. But in this area, the fault actually kind of branches out. And so I'm pretty sure that there's at least one more or possibly several branches of the fault kind of up there before you get to this rock wall. So I'm going to go up there and see if there's anywhere I can attach a microphone. So I'm not 100% sure what this pink area on the rock is. It might just be iron, but it also kind of looks like it might be cinnabar, which is mercury sulfide. So that, that's kind of interesting. But anyway, I've got my mic on it and I've got myself hooked up. So let's give this a listen. So I do hear some little noises, although I'm not really sure that any of it is coming from the earth. So one thing is that this cable is actually really sensitive. You know, even if I just take some grass and barely touch the cable with it. It's just so loud. And then of course also I'm getting some wind. And the wind I anticipated, and in fact I made this little tent. So I'm going to try putting this over the mic and see if that helps. And then as much as possible, I guess I'm just going to try to get all of the cables off of anything that could possibly move. And I'll try recording a little bit more.
Okay, yeah, so I didn't have the headphones on because I didn't want to disturb the recording too much. So I, I guess I'm going to have to wait till later to see if that sounded any good or not. But yeah, let's go out exploring and see if we can find anything else cool. So this is really cool. Up in the mountains there's still a lot of snow and it's been melting off really quickly. And water is just flowing down through all of these rocks here. And it's coming down right, right through there. Uh, and it sounds really cool. So I'm going to try to get a mic in here somewhere and we'll see what that sounds like. Oh my god, that's so awesome! I can't believe you can actually hear that! It's the sound of the water traveling through the rock and into the microphone. You know what I'd like to do? I don't know if you can quite see in there, but I think I'm going to take the microphone off the rock and just dangle it there so we can see if we can still hear the sound or not. Are we really hearing it through the rock? Or is it just regular sound kind of going into the mic since I have the gain turned up so high? Okay, I don't know how well you can see that, but now I've got the mic just dangling right there, right next to where it was attached to the rock before. So let's see what that sounds like. So I'm kind of surprised, but you can still hear it. And I kind of wonder if some of it isn't traveling through the rock and then being picked up by the cable. So I finally made it up all the way to the base of the cliffs up here. And if anything is connected to the fault, it's got to be this right here. So I'm going to try to get a mic on there and see what we can hear. Okay, so I've got my mic here under this little tent. I moved the audio recorder over there, so now I think it's out of the way of the grass. And there's not really anywhere to put a tripod up here, uh, so maybe I'll just play some B-roll over this.
So yeah, again, I'm not sure exactly what we heard. Yeah, I don't think the fault makes any sound. I don't know. Stupid video. I am surprised by how much air-based sound this mic picks up. I mean, you have to crank the gain up to these insane levels, 70 or 80 decibels, to be able to hear it. But there are little sounds of distant dogs barking and traffic and that kind of thing. And of course, if there are any mechanical sound at all going into the mic, those sounds would be so much louder that you would never hear these air-based sounds. But I guess they are there. Let's go see what else we can find. Alright, so anyway, I guess that's all I wanted to record today. So I'm going to go have a snack, and then I'm going to go home and have a listen. I guess you've already heard it, and you've already heard future me talking about it, so hopefully it didn't suck. And I hope you're sufficiently entertained by this video. So anyway, I guess that's all I have for now. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!